Hello and welcome to History Pod. On the 2nd of April 1863, the Richmond Bread Riot saw hundreds of women in the state of Virginia break into storehouses and shops to loot food and valuables. In the three years that preceded the riot, Richmond's population had more than tripled as refugees flooded into the city to escape the American Civil War that was raging in the surrounding area. This disrupted agricultural production while simultaneously driving up demand for the little remaining food that wasn't being taken to feed Confederate troops. Outside the city, the Union blockade was successfully stopping imports, while inside, income had not kept pace with rampant inflation. These underlying problems were brought to a head in March 1863. Shortly after bad weather made it almost impossible to bring new food supplies into the city, Confederate President Jefferson Davis called for a day of fasting and prayer, which only served to anger the already starving population. Five days later, on the 1st of April, a group of women led by Mary Jackson and Minerva Meredith met at Belvedere Hill Baptist Church, where they decided to demand a meeting with Virginia Governor John Letcher. Letcher's address on the morning of the 2nd of April failed to satisfy the women, who had already armed themselves with axes, hatchets and various other assorted weapons. With the cry of bread or blood, the women marched to the city's market district where they broke into government storehouses and nearby businesses. Both Governor Letcher and Jefferson Davis tried to quell the riot, with the latter even offering his own food and money in an attempt to stop the violence. The riot eventually subsided after Davis threatened to order the Confederate army to open fire. More than 60 protesters were arrested, but those who were imprisoned were freed after just a few weeks, as the city jail couldn't afford to feed them. <laughs>